Hi, let's quickly find the three values of x. You're welcome to my channel and let's get straight to the point, okay? Okay, now we are going to first of all bring this down, like simplify this. How? Um, a to the power of m raised to the power of n, okay? is same thing as a to the power of m times n. So that simply means that I can rewrite this bracket as what? I can write this as x minus 4 to the power of 2, everything squared. Because 2 times 2 will still give me 4. And similarly, I can rewrite this side as x squared raised to the power of 2. Now, let me bring this to the other side and equate everything to be equal to 0. So if I do that, I'm going to have x minus 4 squared, everything squared, minus x squared, squared, <laughs> everything is squared, is equal to 0. Okay, we have difference of two squares here. Yes, the one that says that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Okay, so we are going to apply that here. And if we do that, that means we are going to have, this is now our a, x minus 4 to the power of 2 is our a, y x squared is our b. That means we can rewrite the left-hand side of this equation as x minus 4 squared minus what? x squared, okay? Multiplied by x minus 4 squared plus x squared is equal to 0. I hope that makes sense, right? Yes. Now, let's continue. So, we are, we are going to introduce another uh, algebraic identity that states that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, in this case, our a is x, while our b is 4, okay? So, x minus 4 then can be expressed as, we can express x minus 4 as x squared, that is a squared. Now, x squared will give us x squared, right? Minus 2ab, that is 2 times x times 4, right? That is 8x, so minus 8x. Then plus b squared, that is 4 squared, that will give us 16. Now, this is what we got for here. And it's going to be minus x squared. That is for this one. Okay? Then this is going to be multiplied by... This and this are the same. So I'm going, just going to copy this bracket. So we are going to have x squared minus 8x plus 16. All right? Then, this time is going to be plus x squared, plus x squared. Okay. Now, everything is equal to zero. Permit me to come to this side of the board. Now, um, let's continue. We have x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus x squared, right? There is no need for the bracket, right? Then we have, it's going to be multiplied by x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus x squared is equal to 0. Now, x squared minus x squared will give us 0. So what we have here is minus 8x plus 16 multiplied by, now in this case, x squared plus x squared will give us 2x squared. So we have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, we have two brackets that are equated to be zero. That means we can just equate each bracket to be equal to zero. So that is exactly what we are going to do now. So we are going to write that minus 8x plus 16 is equal to zero. And or 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is also equal to zero. Okay. Now, from here, let's transfer this to the other side. Since that is the one that has a um, negative sign. So, let me just transfer it. So, we have 16 is equal to, this will be transferred and you have plus 8x, right? So, we have 8x. Now, to get the value of x here, 
we are just going to divide by 8 divide by 8 so we have that 2 is equal to x so this becomes the first value of our x have you subscribed huh. what are you waiting for okay just click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss amazing videos that i'll be uploading notes i upload twice daily yes so check me anytime any day and see the new uploads for yourself okay thank you now this is what we have as our x1 now for this side we are going to use the quadratic equation formula that states that this b since we are looking for x x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a now our a here is equal to the coefficient of x squared which is 2 our b is equal to the coefficient of x which is minus 8 and our c is our constant which is what 16 so if we substitute all these values into this particular equation or formula this is what we are going to have that x is equal to minus b that should be minus minus 8 which is what 8 plus or minus the square root of b squared that is minus 8 squared and minus 8 squared should give us 64 okay minus 4ac that is 4 times 2 which will give us 8 right and 8 times 16 will give us what let's do that 8 times 16 now 6 times 8 is 48 we write 8 and carry 4 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4 will give us 12 so we have 128 so we are going to have 64 minus 128 everything divided by 2 times a that is 2 times 2 which is what 4 okay i think we have to continue from this side okay so let's continue from this side now this is what we have now that x let me write it out is equal to 8 plus or minus the square root of now let's solve this 64 minus 128 should give us minus 64 right so we have minus 64 everything divided by 4 so that means that x is equal to 8 divided by 4 plus or minus square root of minus 64 divided by 4 okay so we have x is equal to 2 plus or minus now square root of minus 64 is the same thing as square root of 64 multiplied by square root of minus 1 and square root of 64 should give us 8 and square root of minus 1 should be, should give us i so that means that the whole of this will give us 8i so we are going to have 8i divided by 4 okay all right now we continue so that means that x is equal to 2 plus or minus now when this divides this you have 2 you have 2i so we got the first value of our x as 2 right to be 2 now that means x2 and x3 right is equal to 2 plus 2i and 2 minus 2i so these are the three values of x thank you so very much for watching to this stage and have a lovely day Bye.